Ladies, you have to be aware of this new tactic being used. So, guys, apparently, I, I ran into this video a week ago, and I couldn't find it after I saw it on Instagram. But apparently there's a new tactic being used. Now, this one was in China. It's undoubtedly going to reach its way here if it hasn't happened already. But what they are doing now, especially with younger girls and or smaller girls, there are strange men wearing gloves and masks walking up to women and asking for directions of whatever location they're in. So they're like, hey, can you point me to 1-2 Hogpog Lane? And they show you a piece of paper, and a piece of paper is laced with some kind of drug on it. And what happens then, 30 seconds later to a minute later, the girl or woman becomes woozy and disoriented. And then they, from there, take lead and lead her into a vehicle or a home or whatever that is. Now, this, guys, is a growing trend over there. There was, There is another trend here where they're lacing objects like dollar bills or cloths or material clothing whatever that is and with clothing they leave it on the car so that when you pull it off that chemicals on your hand same thing goes for money and money is a little more attractive than clothing right because clothing you take you know your hand some people take a stick and throw it but with money on a windshield or down by your car door when you look down you go to pick it up whatever chemicals on it gets soaked through your skin or absorbed into your skin and then you become disoriented and then you're easily manipulated you're way more easily manipulated with these new chemicals that they're using and i'm not sure what it is some people say fentanyl but fentanyl doesn't have that kind of um reaction not to the point where you're like you're being easily manipulated it's sort of like the date rape drug they had back in the 80s and 90s where they were dropping shit in chicks drinks and chicks were partying before you know it a fucking panties were above her head right so this same thing guys is going on except for now it's a little different because and i'm not making light of it but in the 80s and 90s you know you got sexually abused assaulted you know whatever that was but you went home this shit you disappearing forever you're being again guided into a vehicle of some kind or in some cases a home and then you're gone forever now you're, you're in Istanbul sucking eight cocks because some asshole fucking took advantage of you. So you have to be aware of anybody, even an old man, or appears to be an old man, walking up to you all like crippling shit, like, can you help me out? You know, And then he gives you a piece of paper. He's like, can you read this for me? And then, he re and then you read it, and then 30 seconds later, you're like, oh, shit. And then he becomes Kaiser Soze. He's all like, all right. you know, and He grabs you and fucking guide you to wherever he wants to guide you. You have to be aware of people doing this tactic. Now, if you want to help because you're that kind of person, have them hold the paper away from you. Have them hold it to where you can see it, but you're not smelling it and you're not touching it. Because smell can also affect you as well and disorient orientate you as well. So make sure they're going to hold it away from you if you have to help. Because the problem with this new game that they're playing is somebody could legitimately need your help. And now you're not helping them because this shit's going on. So you have to use your judgment. But the better judgment, if you ask me, don't help at all. But if you are a helping person, do it from a distance. Don't hold their phone. Don't hold a piece of paper, a booklet, a map. Don't hold anything. Just show from a distance. If you know what they're talking about, then you guide them without ever touching, sniffing, looking at it. Just be like two blocks down this way. At that light, make a left or right, whatever it is. That's a better way. But if they tell you some shit you've never heard of in your neighborhood, go, I don't know what that is. Simple. I don't know. I'm not from here. You can always do that. So it's the aggressiveness that they use with the booklet or the piece of paper that's a that's a dead giveaway. So they'll be like, they'll show you the piece of paper and they'll be like, well, what is this here? No, no, here, put it in, hold it. As soon as they try to force you to hold something that you don't need to be holding on to because you can see it. Especially if you have glasses and you're one of those nerds with those fucking bifocals that can see in the space. You can see the shit from across the street with those glasses on. They start forcing that shit in your hand, you know something's up. When they want you to go, oh man, oh, can you do me a favor? Can you, can you exchange this for me? And they're forcibly trying to give you that money into your hand. And they're wearing gloves or a mask. 
something's up. So just keep that in mind, guys, that a lot of these tactics are being used all over the world. And it's why a lot of kids are going missing and a lot of women are going missing. Now, the kids, they're still doing that modeling agency shit, which I didn't think was still a real thing. Like, I heard about it when I was younger. I didn't know they were still doing it now. That's an entirely different ballgame, especially when an agency asks you to step out of the room so we could, you know, interview a kid by yourself. Never fall for that shit. But for what's going on now, the new tactic that's starting to grow with the, hey, show you the piece of paper, don't touch it. Don't touch it. Don't lick it. Don't fucking sniff it. Don't do anything like that. Look from a distance. Tell the person either it's here or you don't know and get out of the situation quickly. Especially guys if they're wearing rubber gloves and a mask in the summertime. It's too hot for that shit. So that's a red flag in itself. Especially especially if they have a hat on and they had a super low and they got a mask on and they're walking you like this. Don't trust them. Don't do it. So this is just another heads up. I saw this video really quick last week. I was trying to find it again to see if I could and I couldn't find it. Nonetheless guys, keep your head on the swivel ladies. If a guy's trying to sit there and make you his victim, you could turn the tables on him, pull out your gun, right? Tell him, yo, it's rape time. And then, you know, like fucking beat him with a baseball bat or rape him with a baseball bat. Whatever you're going to do with it, just, you know, turn the tables on him because it's time for women to start hammering these dudes. The problem is, ladies, and I'm going to say this with as straight face as I possibly can, guys need to be taught the hard lesson when it comes to dealing with women. And that means women have to turn the tables on the men by turning their fucking rapeville into rapeville of their own. And you start fucking pegging them or whatever the fuck you gotta do to them to make them learn not to mess with women in that nature. If you have to break out hammers and fucking dildos and pipes, do it. Because they need to learn this lesson. Because the problem is, ladies, women are the weaker race. That is not up for debate. It is what it is. But if you pull out a handgun and some shit, a chainsaw and an axe, or what's her name? In uh, the movie with the, the writer that was stuck in bed, James Conn was stuck in bed. This movie, Misery. If you have to turn it into that situation, so be it. But women have to start doing the hard shit. Stop running to the cops. Be the cop. And call your brother if you have to. Or call your brother and your father and you guys can make it a family affair and fucking this guy up. But you guys have to do something to make men a little more leery of women. I'm not saying, listen, they're not going to be completely scared of women. But you got to make men leery of them. So they look in and go, ah, oh, shit, not that shit. That's a big ass bitch. She's going to fuck me up. That's what you have to have guys start thinking. Because up until now, they're not scared. And they know that they can get away with a lot of shit with women. But if you pull out a gun, you do some shit on them, it's going to make them rethink trying to kidnap you or somebody you know. Anyway, guys, this is The Angry Prepper. Thank you for watching.